Good afternoon. In this video, we're going to use the move to menu. So in the main menu area here, we're going to go to the move to icon. Here's the move to and you can move this anywhere on the screen as you wish. So this will allow our tool to move to whatever we want. So it could be a face, an edge, a vertex, an arc center, a part, or also targets. So we can move to a ta an already taught point or we can also move to the targets in which we did in a previous video, target one, target two, target three on the work cell. So let's look at, say, a face. So if we want to go somewhere on this face, you'll notice that we have a triad somewhere. So if I want to go here, notice how the robot moves automatically to that position. We can move to, along an edge. Depending on what side you hover on, I can move to this edge side or I can move to this edge side, which rotates the robot. Now where this is very, very useful is if you don't know the angle of a surface and you want the robot to be exactly perpendicular, this takes the math and everything else out of it. It completely does everything for you. It's a very, very nice tool to have. So say I wanna make a path along this edge here to program so I can trace along the edge. So I can go to say vertex, and rotate around this edge. There's my first vertex and we can create a new program based on this. So I'm going to go select, create, and we just call this triangle side. And I'm just going to add a couple move points first. The first one is going to be my home position, which is I have a position register already set up. So I'm going to do add move point down to this position right here. So that's going to be my taught position number one. And then I'm going to start moving along this edge. So I'm going to go vertex, making sure that I'm rotating this correct direction, add move point, and I'm going to do a linear move point. First, I'm going to uh, change my speeds here. And then I'm going to go a linear movement to that position. Then I can go vertex right at the top, move to that top there, add move point, linear down to that. And then I can add another move point back to my first initial point one. And then let's add that home position. And when I run this, now it's going to trace along that edge. And you can see how fast that was just by training that. Now, if we would have guesstimated or tried to get this as perpendicular as possible, that would take precious minutes, which you could lose out. Again, time is money. So utilize the tools that RoboGuide has for you. Utilize the Move 2. Uh, you can also use the Move 2 if you have already taught targets. And this, again, a target can be used by any robot. So if you have multiple robots in a cell, you can use that move to that certain target. So we can also add this edge as well. So I can say move to target number one, and it automatically moves to that target number one. So we can add a secondary movement here. And we're actually joint down to this position right here. And then we're going to move to target number two. And we'll add a linear motion, move to target number three, add linear motion, and then we're going to add linear motion back to number four. So we're teaching these parts on this teach pendant based off of these targets that we have set up. And then let's go home. And let's run this. So you can see how fast that was. And there we go. So that is the move to menu.